Hey everybody, I've been feeling really inspired lately to push the actual real purpose of Braille skateboarding, which is to teach the entire world how to ride a skateboard. So I wanted to share this video with you. I got it sent to me from one of the Braille Army Plus members because it really, really shows how amazing skateboarding is, what kind of lessons it can teach you, and that at any age, no matter how old you are, you, yes you, can learn your first kickflip. I hope you enjoy this video. Hey everybody, Stuff and Things here. I'm gonna start this video off a little bit differently. I'm gonna show you a braille video. So this video happened on October 3rd and this gentleman right here was trying some kickflips at the Fremont Skate Park and he didn't give up and he kept going and he kept going and everybody was supporting him and it was so inspiring to see somebody my age going after this kickflip and trying again and again and there we have it right there he finally gets one and the feeling that this guy must have felt at, at that moment was just awesome so um, I decided that I need to go and see if I can learn a kickflip myself so as I get started I just want to say thank you to that guy for the inspiration to even start this journey to even think about trying this so that same day that that video came out I got started I did pay attention to Aaron Cairo's instructions on how to get started with a kickflip, which is just to uh, roll your ankle, slide the foot up the board, and figure out that flick position at the nose. You can see that even though I was trying it for a couple of days in that position, that I was nowhere close. But I didn't give up. I tried a little bit more kept working on that flick and eventually got the board to flip a little bit, which felt kind of good. And you'll see throughout that I come back to just working on that stationary flick. And I can't stress enough how important that actually is. For a while, it felt like, okay, I'm just kind of doing this repeated thing. I don't know if it's really getting me anywhere. But I was really, really wrong about that. I also learned from watching myself on video that I was definitely doing the dreaded downward flick. There was a good example there. Um, I was getting the board to flip a little bit, but my foot was going down through the board in order to make it happen. So on this day, I grabbed some clips of me trying, and I started doing it rolling as well, which felt pretty good. I was getting some flip, even with that downward flick. But some of this footage I submitted to Braille as a skate support video. And I'll put a link in the description to that video. Um, but Aaron really did provide some really good advice um, in that about the flick and the foot position and a few things that I needed to do. And so after that feedback, I really worked hard to eliminate the downward flick. I really tried to flick more straight out more than I was down. Now it made it quite a bit harder to always be near the board and to get the board to flip, but at least I wasn't flicking down and being in the way of the board all the time. And slowly I was eliminating the downward flick a little bit at a time. And here there's a pretty good example of something that happened a lot. I got so many shinners while trying kickflips, you know, landing on the board with one foot and then it flips right into your shin. Uh, there were days where I had three or four separate bumps and welts on my shins. But still, working on that flick, trying to go kind of up and out through the nose of the board, it's getting a little bit better all the time. This is the day when the flip finally resulted in a three quarters of a flip and I landed primo, but even though I fell, I was pretty excited to get that much of a flip and, and kind of be over the board. And it's at this point that I want to say thank you to the people in Braille Army Plus in the Discord. Um, I got a lot of encouragement and advice from various people throughout this process. And it really went a long way to help me uh, keep trying and just to uh, do the right thing and learn a little bit more about what I need to do. Now, I think it was somewhere near this date that I got a few more close calls, some better flips, 
the board is moving a little bit better. I had some more falls too. Um, but I discovered something about the ankle of my front foot. And I think I'll probably make a separate video about that front foot specifically and what it was that actually made a difference for me. But for now, um, as I was just still working on that flick motion, Another thing I was working on at this time was getting a good flip and just landing the front foot on the board. And I think that did go a pretty good way towards getting me closer to landing. And you can see that I'm still working on that ankle movement and getting my foot into the right position for a proper flick. Now this one right here was kind of magical. It was so close to landing and it really gave me a hunger to just keep pushing. And as I get close to wrapping up here, the last set of thank yous is a very special one to Aaron Cairo for uh, taking the time to personally help me and encourage me. It really kept me going and uh, kept me working on the right things so that I would make all of this progress. And so here we are at the age of 44, finally landing my very first kickflip. After I landed it, I didn't even know what to do. I just stood in disbelief. I didn't even feel like it really happened, but it did and I couldn't be happier. So there it is, the journey to my first kickflip. Um, thanks again, everybody that helped and encouraged and supported and gave advice along the way. And if you're out there and you're learning to skateboard and you're trying a trick that's hard for you, if I can land a kickflip at my age, you can get that trick that you're working on too. So don't give up, keep going, and we'll see you next time. Boom! How amazing was that? I, I don't know, I guess that just like pulled on every heartstring that exists in my little skateboarding world. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, just so you know, you can uh, join Braille Army Plus and get personal coaching from me. And as soon as you sign up, you just get onto the Discord server and then you direct message me on Discord and then I'll help you learn how to skateboard. That's how I helped Stefan things. He would send me videos and then I'd go, okay, tweak this, try this, looking good, but let's practice on this step here a little better. And then bada boom, bada bing, we got it. I don't know who gets more excited, the person who landed the kickflip or me. All right, guys, stay inspired and let's keep skating.